Zainab Mohammed was a chief administrator with Nigeria's Judicial Service Commission when she was diagnosed with a malignancy in her left breast in October. I saw the result. The doctor said suspicious malignancy. I know when it says malignant, it means cancer. That was when I was like, my life has ended. I was like, dead. With little faith about her survival, Zainab started fighting the disease. But the medical bills never stopped. Managing cancer is very expensive. I had to look for funds from friends, family and friends. And at the end of the day, I had to sell a house to pay for my medications. By WHO's estimates, some 41,000 cancer-related deaths took place in Nigeria in 2018, the highest mortality rate in the world. While unhealthy lifestyles and habits play a role, low awareness, lack of treatment facilities and the high cost of treatment in Nigeria are the major reasons the mortality rate is high. Medical experts like Aminu say the problem is serious. Within 2012, we had an increase in the number of incidents of cancer patients from 12, 14 million to about 18 million in 2018. The statistics for 2019 is yet to come out. And the deaths, about 8.2 million to 9.6. Nigerian authorities launched a national cancer control plan last year in an effort to fix the problem. Early in the week, the government announced 50% discounts on chemotherapy treatments for patients. In October, several thousands marched the streets to create awareness and raise funds for treatment of cancer patients. Medicaid Foundation, a non-profit in Nigeria, has been serving patients for eight years. So far we've raised over a million dollars. We've impacted over 200,000 people. We've helped them and um, we operate all over Nigeria. Uh, the impact is high in my state, in Kebi, where my husband is the governor, because uh, it, we reach all the 21 local government areas where we talk to people, uh, we create awareness. As the second leading cause of deaths globally, the impact of cancer is often greater in low- and middle-income countries, including Nigeria, which lack adequate resources to support cancer policies for their citizens, making fundraising and awareness even more critical. Timothy Obiezu for VOA News Abuja.